this we scientist with this and a gentleman. I'm very glad I'm here with a lecture on hyperbice. <coughs> the topic of my speech is the development of hyperbice for food security in the world. <coughs> As you know, uh, the current today, the world population is 7 billion, and the world reach 8 billion in 2030. Meanwhile, the loss of land for other use is 1 million to 30 million hectares annually. Uh, facing such population growth rate pressure, plus the reduction of land, such a very serious situation, how to feed the world uh, is a big challenge uh, facing us. Uh, the only way, uh, I think, uh, is to greatly enhance the little level of, of the advance of science and the technology. <coughs> Rice. Uh, 
it express in many ways. <coughs> very big particles, uh, very strong systems, and uh, very great weight, uh, etc. So this is the uh, rice heterosis. <coughs> Left side, uh, we call it is the female parent. Uh, uh, right side is the male parent. In between is the hybrid. You can see very strong heterosis. Not only above ground, but on the underground. The hybrid is also very rigorous root system. Uh, uh, in between is the hybrid. And the pentacles is bigger than the parents. And in the field, very high yield. This is the heterosis. This is the so that the units are on the thirty tension. However, the heterosis only exists in the first generation. We call F1 generation. Now. So, you want to uh, use heterosis rice, you must produce the F1 seed every year. Uh, every year. However, rice is a self pollinated crop plant. Uh, Male and female organ uh, located in the same flowers, and the flower is very small. Uh, uh, how to uh, produce large amount of F100 seed uh, for commercial use, for commercial production? Uh, we use a special line we call. Male steroid line. Uh, use this special line, uh, large amount of pregnancy can be produced. Uh, <coughs> this is the uh, normal varieties, uh, normal answers. The problem. Uh, on the uh, normal variety, normal answer. And uh, this is the, we call it. Male stereo lines answer, uh, degenerated answer. No function. Uh, the pollen inside is sterilized. Uh, uh, abortive pollen. Uh, male stereo lines. By means of this master line, a um, large amount of F1 hybrid can be produced for commercial product, uh, for, for commercial production. You can see, we call it a uh, hybrid seed production wrong. Those uh, in the middle rows, we use the male theory line. And uh, these two rows, we call the coordinators. Uh, this is a local variety. Uh, coordinators. Uh, two men uh, <laughs> pull the rockers to shape uh, the pentacles of the male parents to spread out the pollen. Uh, and this pollen uh, falling onto the stigma and the mystery lines. And that can be, uh, the, the hypothesis can be produced. Very uh, <coughs> happy the farmers, the hypothesis. In China, uh, they are about the uh, 0.15 million hectares of hybrid seed production. 
and the average yield of the seed yield is near three times that. Now, one hectare seed quality can produce the seed for about 200 commercial, 200 hectares of commercial production. One to 200. Current are set up in China. The total rice area uh, in recent years is uh, near 30 million hectares. And the average yield uh, is about 6.4 tons per hectare. The area under high rice is uh, 70 million hectares, about 55% uh, total rice area. And the yield of high rice is 7.3 tons per The yield of uh, is over 20%. Because uh, high rice, the, the grain yield increased by planting high rice uh, can feed, can feed 17 million more people. In recent years, uh, we focus our effort on developing so-called super hybridize, the very high yield hybridize, uh, in order to meet the total requirement for all Chinese people. Our Ministry of Agriculture set up a Super rice breeding program. Uh, it divides into three phases. Understanding of super in China. It divided into three phases. Phase one is from 1996 to the year 2000. The year target is 10.5 tons. Second phase is from 201 to 205. Uh, the year target is 12, 20, right now. And uh, phase three is from uh, 206 to the year 215. The year target is 13.5 uh, tons. <coughs> This is the, uh, we call it not one hectare, it's about a lot of the average yield is uh, a demonstration. Seven, seven hectares, the average yield is seven hectares. In Chinese, we call it 100 mole. In Chinese, non unit called the mole. 100 mole, uh, roughly equal to seven hectares. So, 100 mole, two locations. Uh, Least 100 more each for two consecutive years. Uh, this is the standard. Uh, um. So, uh, morphology improvement plus the utilization of uh, inter subspecies resources, uh, we achieved. <coughs> Several higher year supervised varieties have been developed by the year of 2000, which made the phase one very hard. For example, uh, in the year of 1999, uh, there were four locations, locations uh, which Seven hectares each. Their average is about 10.5 tons per hectare. And in the year 2000, there were 20 locations uh, with seven or 70 hectares each. Their average is about 10.5 tons. So we achieved this uh, 
by the year of 2009. We meet the face when we were talking. But after that, uh, uh, after the uh, year 2000, this pioneer's price uh, was released for commercial production. And in recent years, uh, the area under this pioneer's price is about 2 million. And the average is 18.3 tons. I will give a, a figure for comparison. <laughs> you know, Japan is a advanced country. Japan. Their average yield in recent years is 6.6 tons per 6.6. And India, India is a developing country. Uh, its average yield is 3 tons per our super hot rice, uh, the area of our pioneer super rice is almost the same as Japan's rice area. Uh, uh, 8.3 uh, tons per uh, uh, This picture shows this is our pioneer super hot rice. And uh, in 1999, uh, in an experimental plot uh, in, in the southwest uh, part of China, we created a record yield of 17.1 tons per This is the highest rise yield in the last century in the 20th century. Uh, 17 Point one, point five, the highest. Now, uh, this record is has been broken by new records. Um, last year, uh, in the same area, we created a eighteen point two tons, an experimental probe around. The area uh, is uh, about 1,000 square miles. Mm. Uh, after uh, uh, 2000, we, fo uh, we focus our effort on developing the second phase of uh, rise. And uh, it was achieved one year ahead of the plan in 2004. For example, uh, there were five locations with seven hectares each in 2003. Uh, the average is about 15 square feet. And in 2004, there are 12 locations uh, with 7 hectares each. Uh, the uh, average is over 15 hectares. Uh, so, this hybrid uh, uh, was re released uh, for commercial production uh, in two six and in two or ten the area under this second phase two hundred rice uh, there is is over five hundred thousand hectares and the average yield was about nine tons this is our second phase two hundred rice Like a waterfall. We call the waterfall rice, right? waterfall, not waterfall rice. Right? Mm -hmm. Based on the amount of progress, the phase 3 to 1 rice feeding program has been started. The target is uh, 13.5 tons. And uh, very uh, lucky. 
Uh, it is achieved last year. Uh, last year. Uh, the pay is 2015. Now we achieved this four years ahead of the plan. Is that a seven two seven point two hectare demonstration location yielding thirteen point nine times per hectare on the Long in Huran Province last year. This is the demonstration location. <coughs> Seven point two hectare demonstration. The average is seven point two hectare. The average is thirteen point nine times per I, I just mentioned uh, earlier in that uh, south uh, south west of China created a 18.2 tons per hectare swath crop one thousand square meter 18.2 tons per hectare. Hybridize uh, not only performed well in China, but also uh, performed very well uh, in other countries. Uh, so far, uh, we are seven countries uh, commercialized the hybridize. Uh, there are seven countries, uh, uh, including India, Vietnam, Philippines, Bangladesh, United States, uh, Pakistan. And Indonesia. Uh, the, lot, uh, the, the area of hybrids outside China uh, in 2010 is 4.5 million hectares. Uh, the largest area is India. India is 1.8 million hectares. The uh, yield of the is 15 to 20 percent. Get land. Uh, in recent years, is 700,000 hectares. Uh, and the yield of high rise is 3.3 3 tons per hectare. And the commercial rise, the yield is 4.5 tons per hectare. Uh, Get land because have been high rise for many years on that scale. Becomes a second largest rice export country after Thailand. Before, before uh, we least uh, commercialize the hybrid rice, and with the lowest we are in this food shortage country uh, in the late eighties. And in Philippines, are. Uh, This is a 
he is a pretty good farmer. But this gentleman is the director of Philippine Rice. The yield of uh, rice. Uh, the the scientists, uh, the Philippine scientists and the theory scientists, uh, they measure the land. They weigh the uh, yield. Uh, they are the referee. We are the spokesman. <laughs> I ask uh, this one. Uh, is this part heavy? Yeah. Uh, very heavy. Are you happy? Uh, very happy. <laughs> very heavy and very happy. But does the yield of our, our, our hard rice over there is 10.4 tons. Are the check, the best variety from Yiri is 7 tons. And the local variety is 4 tons. Our hard rice is Ten point four tons, right? So, this is very heavy. The partner and I'm very happy. Her Excellency, uh, the former president uh, of Philippines, uh, Miss Aroro, uh, she received the five times in order to develop her life. Five times, and she, the Philippine government, made an ambitious plan to expand her rice to one million hectares by the year two or two. One hectare can increase two tons rice. One million hectare, two, two million tons. And the Philippine can be a become a third rice surf service education. Unfortunately, I had a mind. He retired. She retired. Uh -huh. There's some, uh, some, some problems. <laughs> she yeah, she received me five times. <coughs> ah, here is the United States. I just show a picture to men who uh, they want the supplementary coordination. But in the United States, there is no manpower for, to do the work. It is very complicated for supplementary coordination. Six point five to ten tons, 
But in the local way, it's only 1.5 to 2 tsp. In order to uh, develop high rise uh, outside China, uh, our government on the FAO uh, on the EU uh, heard many trading calls on high rise trading calls. Uh, so far, uh, uh, we have uh, heard about the uh, we have uh, uh, about the uh, uh, six fifty fifty courses for training for training and rise now and uh, uh, more than. 3,000 researchers uh, and technicians uh, uh, from 60 countries come here, come to our institute for training. Uh, mm -hmm. training, uh, training course. Thank you.